What's up, Blockheads? Today I'm going to show you how to make this awesome little device. Now, what this thing does is you can kind of call it like a, um, an escape pod, I guess. And you see this little thing right here. And then when you press this button, the escape pod kind of activates. So just to show you what, I'd, what, I'd, uh, what this would look like from the outside without actually being in the escape pod, I'll press the button. And you'll see from all angles, this thing kind of like just, the, the pod shuts off and then omens back up and there's nothing there. So for instance, let's say I spawn in um, a, an egg. Let's put a, what's something pretty harmless? Let's put a, let's put a sheep down there. So spawn in a sheep. Oh shoot. And notice he's gone. Um, now I do have a problem with the sheep up here, but just Okay, there we go. <laughs> well, good. But yeah, I mean, they're there and then they're not. So here's how it works. Um, and then you'll notice I'm down here. And this would be a really, really cool way to enter your fort or whatever. And it's a really kind of, it's not very simple. But this comes from a guy, link down here from down below. And I saw his video and he hadn't made a tutorial for it yet. So I thought I showed you guys how to actually make this awesome thing. Because... I don't know, like this, this is just such a sweet entrance to your house. So, here we go. Uh, um, since, here's the outside of it. You can see it's pretty complicated. It's got a bunch of redstone, a lot of pistons, because you've got to push all this up and down. So, the first layer is this. Now, um, I would recommend you pausing it right here. I'm going to take off my HUD and pause it right here. And then try to go ahead and build this. I'll show you a couple different angles. You just want to build this. Ideally, if this wants to be your finished version, you want to build this in a hole that's going to be four blocks deep. So dig three blocks, or dig four blocks down, and then put these blocks down that you can see on the screen. Now, one thing you need to be really, really careful of is make sure that you have the repeaters facing in the exact correct direction with the right amount of ticks. So take a real close, real close look at that, and build that on your uh, in your world. So now I'm gonna move over to the next step. So this is pretty important. This is where you can go pretty darn wrong. So you want to put. All, by the way, all these pistons are sticky so far. So you want to put down everything just as it's shown here. And um, this is just this is the block on top of that piston. And one thing you need to be sure of: this block right here, the uh, the glass, it needs to be some block that's transparent for now. Because if it's not transparent, you're gonna have a redstone. Um, it's gonna like tick the torch so much that it will burn out. So I'm just gonna circle around this a couple times, show you kind of what's going on, and from directly above, it looks like this. I'll get a little higher up. So you need to build it just like that. All right, and then I'll lower it down, give you a little bit of an angle. So there's the second layer. Now moving on to the third layer. This is a little more complex. Um, you, this time, instead of just having your um, sticky pistons, you're going to add in two regular pistons, as you can see right there and right there. So um, here's the top-down view, right there. Hopefully you can see all those pistons and um, all those repeaters and stuff. And then from over here, looks like this. And I'll get a couple views from the side just like that. It's pretty, pretty easy. Um, and now, now that you've put in this redstone block, after you put the redstone block in, you can see that, um, I've replaced my glass with a solid block. And at this point, that is what you want to do. So go ahead and place that block. And by the way, this isn't really necessary. This is only my method for triggering it. Um, this is just, you need to power this block at the end in order to trigger the, uh, the escape pod. So if you want to have a different method, don't worry about this little part because all this does is it is the um, little switch leading up to here. So now here is the uh, the surface level of it. Now that you've done all the underground stuff, you add on a little surface and then I have put in my little system for having this there, right there. You'll notice right now it... Ha okay. I'll give you a little rundown on how this thing works. 
Oh, I don't know the command for rain. Let's see if I can remember this. Um, I think it's toggle downfall. Brilliant. Okay, so little rundown of how this works. So in order to pass the redstone signal up, it makes this pillar go up. Now all this pillar is, is it's three blocks and then a redstone block. So these three blocks and a redstone block can be stacked right on top of here. So when you're building this layer, in addition to building the ground, and this needs to be glowstone by the way, whatever, um, however you decide to build this, decide to build this structure is your, your opinion, uh, the material, but this block needs to be glowstone. It's because it's got special properties where it's like somewhat, you can like fall through it if it's whatever, just, just trust me, put that, put glowstone there. Anyway, um, what you need to do is take three blocks, put one, two, three, and then a redstone block right on top of here. So one, two, three, redstone block, right? So what this will do is when you activate this button, it'll activate all this redstone down here, and that'll activate this piston, which will push up that little pillar topped with the redstone. Now you'll see what happens right over here. What happens, this is the final layer by the way, so when you're done with building this little thing, complete with your button, and I'll just give you a little outside view once you're done with that. For, that that's probably the easiest layer, little to no redstone. Then you want to come up here, and you want to build this. So as you can imagine, when this comes up, it's going to trigger all this redstone, which will make this go, it'll make these pistons go down and then back up. So it triggers that little down up that uh, hides you when you're going down the escape pod. And then, as you can see, after you build this, I'll give you a little overhead from this angle, then over here, over here, over here. Just basically those four pistons. And keep in mind these are all sticky pistons. And from up top. Then you want to come over here, and this is the last layer. All you have to do is just add just a couple blocks, um, yeah, just just like three blocks, and then you're then you're completely done. So once you do this, this will trigger this again. So once the whole circuit is done, this will push that block down. That's why that block is up right now. There's nothing to push it down. But when you're done, this thing is going to push it down, resetting the system effectively. So I'll just go one more time over the whole thing just a quick um quick top down first step second step third step oh and then over here fourth step and finally the fifth step and the sixth so the sixth right over here is how it probably look when you're entering um, when you have your final complete build done so right now you're the uh, the floor is, is level with the ground and you're ready to enter your own little base so I would just stand right oh by the way one thing you must keep in mind because of the amount of ticks this thing needs to activate your little underground hideout you need to use a wooden button it cannot be any other thing activating it can't be a switch it can't be just placing a redstone torch. It needs to be that wooden button. So uh, that that's really, really kind of it. Um, I know it's a lot of work and it's a lot of materials, but it's definitely doable in survival, which I think makes it really, really easy. Uh, not easy. <laughs> no, it makes it really cool. So finally, here we go down, press the button, and there you go. Now, I actually haven't really set up anything down here, so it's really just like nothing. I'll dig out a little tunnel. Is this? Yeah. Perfect. Oh, come on. There we go. So anyway, I, I just really, really like this build and stuff. So give me a comment. Tell me if you liked this video or if you didn't, if you give it a down vote or pff, did this last video too. It's not a down vote. If you, uh, give me a dislike, just tell me why in the comments. Tell me I can improve and make your experience with this channel better. And be sure to check out my other videos where I show you how to make some of this other awesome, sweet stuff. Tell your friends all that. You know what to do by now. But please subscribe. It really helps me out. I'm really getting close to that uh, 400 subscriber limit. Limit, no. I'm getting close to that 400 subscriber mark. 
And I think that'd be really, really awesome if I had that type of community. Uh, we could probably do some more things, like maybe some rewards when we get to 500. Um, I could probably, probably hit you guys up with some pretty cool stuff, some exclusive content. Uh, once I get to 500 subscribers, as like a little gift for getting me there. I really appreciate those of you who have subscribed. It's, I mean, this whole experience with YouTube has just been so awesome. And obviously, none of it would have happened without you guys. I would have never dreamed of, you know, me actually being pretty successful and getting some subs, getting some views. Uh, it's pretty, pretty darn awesome. So, I will see you guys next time. Keep on watching these vids. Just makes me happy. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good night.